Who wouldn't love a sidekick that can turn into a shark? That's how graphic it gets. Welcome back to another episode of Getting Graphic with Matt. Me, Matt, hello. Today, I'm gonna to talk about a book which is actually very close to my heart, Nimona. Netflix happened to release a new movie with exactly the same title. Fun fact, it's based on this. A little bit about Nimona and a little bit of backstory about N.D. Stevenson. Basically, if you have teen kids, you've watched some of the stuff they've, they created, such as uh, She Rather than Princess of Power, bunch of other stuff. But uh, Eddie Stevenson uh, originally started out doing web comics, uh, very like kind of little, you know, little one piece things. This is a long time ago. I was reading them when she was posting them online, and then I actually remember reading Nimona chapter by chapter as, as they released it online. So they created Nimona, which is a, a wonderful little story about a shape-shifting girl, shall we say, who basically gets assigned to be Ballister Blackheart's new sidekick. Now Ballister Blackheart is like the standard kind of rogue, bad guy vibe. But you know, it's not always how it goes. And it's it's set in this beautiful little kind of steampunky, but not quite steampunk universe. There's like, you know, well, Nimona can shapeshift into a dragon and a bunch of other things. And they have to uh, <laughs> fight <laughs> Ambrosius Goldenloin, who is your typical fantasy hero who, you know, can't see the evil that's hiding right in front of him. Yeah, it's, it's just a beautiful little story about someone realizing the person in front of them isn't really who they say they are and accepting them for that. I haven't seen the, the Netflix movie yet, but I will be doing that tonight. Very excited. It's such a colorful, cute little story about kind of humanity and what makes a human, but you know, in the midst of lots of shape changing and uh, cool stuff. So I would highly recommend it. It's perfect for kids, perfect for teens, I suppose, as it, it did win a, a uh, teen award, I believe. But anyway, clearly I'm not a teen and I absolutely love it. Check it out. You really won't go wrong with this one. And also check out the movie on Netflix. I'm guessing it's gonna be good. Fingers crossed.